Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Edward Vaughan and I'm here from the CAD Center to do another presentation. In this session um, I'm going to be showing you how to do a one page advertisement in PowerPoint. That's a one page advertisement in PowerPoint. So I'm going to use one slide to advertise an event. Um, for this session I'm going to do a sports day event. So right now I'm in PowerPoint 2010 and I turned I turned my my um, first slide into a black background so I'll just show you what I did. I just I hovered over my first slide I did a right click on the on the mouse. I chose format to background. And then I made sure I had a solid fill. And then I chose black. If I chose white, it would go back to white. So I don't want white, so I'm choosing black. So I chose black and then I just pressed close. And then I changed my layout to title only so if you have those two things in place you can get started right so first thing is I'm going to type the title of my of my um, advertisement I'm going to call it the name of a school or call it make sure my, my font is white yeah. I'll call it Bailiston Bailiston Primary Sports Day cool. right. now I'm going to just draw a text box so I'm going to insert I'm going to text box and now I have my arrow so all I can do I can just click and drag and inside this box I'm going to have a name of a team so I'll call this box call this box Mori. It's one of my teams. Yeah, and I'll just I'll just draw another box as well. So I'm going back to inserts. I'm going to draw a total of maybe five boxes. Five. So I'll just press there again and I'll draw. this one but I can just copy I just copied my box a while ago by pressing on the box pressing control C and then pressing control V and that gave me two extra boxes here so that's just a copy by pressing control C and then control V. In this box I'm going to call it um, another house for Dennis. Then for this house I'll call it uh, Web Webster. So again I'm making a, a sports day poster um, an, an interactive poster showing four houses right. so those are my houses I'm going to paste another box and this box I'll call it teams I'm going to 
place another box around that box and what you call it um, who will be the I just uh, extend this box out by pressing on the point and dragging like that. And I'm going to paste another box. I press and control V again. And I'm going to call I'm going to call this box. There can only be one winner. And I'm going to do the same thing I did, just extend that box. Um, I'm going to need another box as well. So I'm going to paste another box. Right now, I'm, I'm pasting using the keyboard. So, first of all, I copied it my my text box, and then I pressed Control V. Control C, so I pressed on my text box, and I pressed Control C to copy, and then I pressed Control V. Okay, so that is how I got my my um, other text boxes. So I pressed first on my box, then I pressed Control C, and then I pressed Control V. Right? That's how I got my my box. So in this in this box I'm going to type um, find out this time if you don't have a clue or understand what I'm doing I'm just going to ask you just to watch what I'm doing just to have an understanding of um, of the procedure to do to make an advertisement in PowerPoint right now I'm just building up my text to animate I'm just getting all my text ready to make sure I think I'll leave it. Okay, I'll leave it like that. That's fine. Right. So all of this text here will be the basis of my of my presentation or advertisements or advertisements. Right. So now my Mori team, Mori. I'm going to make it a bit bigger, so I'm going to highlight. I'm going to press in the text box, highlight the words, and then change the size to probably yeah 32. And then I'm going to change my font's color to blue because the more team will be blue. Then I'm going to change Forbes Dennis, Forbes Dennis to green. And also increase size to 32 as well. Grants will be yellow. And Webster will be, can you guess? Red. Same size, let's see. Right, so those are my teams. Now I'm going to make this font also a bit bigger. Let's 
one as well. A bit bigger, that's not too much. Oops. So it's a bit bigger. Maybe 24. Yeah. Right. So this is my my text that I'll be using for this advertisement. It seems has to be bigger as well. Probably make this 36. So, those are my teams. Okay. So team. Right now, I'm just pressing on each box and I'm dragging to make space to make my work look more to make it look more presentable. Now, I'm going to insert pictures for each of these teams. My Mori team will be an eagle team, eagle, so I've already um, saved some pictures on my folder. So I'm going to go there now, so I'm going to insert pictures and I've saved some, some images here. So. I'm choosing Eagle first, then insert. The Eagle image will go right there for now. Um, my, I'm going to insert more images here. Um, Forbes Dennis will be a frog. So I'm choosing the frog. Go to inserts. Um, Webster will will have a spider. I'm just trying to make some more space here. That's all. It's, it's a bit more space. Mm -hmm. okay, that's fine. I can almost fix that. I can fix those things afterwards. Alright, so I'm going to insert my image of my spider. So I'm doing the same thing. Inserts. Pictures. And my spider is down here. So, yeah. Inserts. will have a tiger. Right, so I definitely I need some more space here, so I'm going to spend some more time to make some space. So I'm going to put my Mori team over on the left hand side, left hand side, like that. Okay, right 
Forbes and his team will be on the right hand side over here. Team just under just underneath the Maori team. I hope the team will fall under the four percent team. We'll go it's toward, towards the Samsung. Might have to make these words smaller just to make things um neater as well. So I think I'm going to do that. Change that to probably a bit, a bit smaller. Change probably twenty eight. Sounds like that. I'll change it to twenty eight. Okay, now I'm going to insert a picture. I'm going to insert a picture of of a trophy. So I'm going to insert a picture. I'm going to choose trophy. My trophy. It's right there. So this is how the main sections of my advertisement will look. But I think I like this better. So this is my, advert, my sports day advertisement that is advertising four teams and the whole event, the whole sports day event. Okay, now we're going on to the more interactive part because now we need to make this this advertisement animate. So to make it animate, we need to add animations. So please watch very carefully. So from this point, I'm going to go to 
animations then I'm going to choose my first text box which is my which has my title Billiston Primary Sports Day 2015 I would like this text to, to fade in and I'll also change I'm changing my on click to whip previous and then I'm changing my duration to three let's make it four seconds four seconds here so just watch very carefully and you will understand the next section I'm going to change I'm going to so when my sports day fades on the screen I like my, I like the words four teams to also come after my title so I'm going to do the same thing here I'm going to let my four teams also fade in and then I'm changing my on click again to after previous so so it will it will it will um it will animate after my first title page my first title text box then I'm changing my duration again to make it three seconds as well not four seconds not three so that's that's four seconds and then after that I would like my teams to appear so I'm going to press so so right now I'm pressing my first image and then I'm holding I'm holding control on the keyboard and then I'm clicking on my other boxes I'm clicking on Mori the frog Hobbs Ennis spider Webster Tiger and Grants. Now I'm going to choose these to fly in. And I want these to happen after my previous. The the duration will also be four seconds. Now, after those appear, I would like my trophy and question to appear. So now I'm clicking on my trophy, I'm holding control on the keyboard, and I'm clicking on who will be the winner. And then I'm going to choose another effect. I'm choosing the wheel effect. And then I'm doing the same thing here. I'm going to choose start, choose after previous. My duration will also be four seconds. And then my last, well, my penultimate task right so my next text box will be there, there can only be one winner here I'm going to do the same thing I'm pressing on it and then I'm choosing an effect for it I'll choose floating and I'm doing the same thing just watch it's the same thing I do every time I change my on click to after previous and then I change my my duration to four seconds And then my last text that I want to appear on the screen would be find out July 31st 2015 at 3 p.m. on the school ground so I'm going to change this to another effect 
I'll use wipe yeah so I'll use wipe and I'm changing the same thing I do every time after previous change my duration to four seconds right so our advertisements will will um, animate from the title to four teams to all the teams to the trophy to there can only be one winner to find out July 31st 2015 at 3 p.m. on the school ground so this is the order in which this presentation will animate so now we're going to give it a try we're going to see what happens we're going to press on F5 on the keyboard so there's my first title that's fine and it says four teams after that my teams are appearing on the screen there's Maury there's Forbes Dennis here comes the spider Webster and last but not least here comes Grant with the tiger after this my trophy should appear yes there's my trophy and, and it's asking the question who will be the winner there can only be one winner and then to find out we have to attend the sports day July 31st 2015 at 3 p.m. on the school ground so this is just a brief um, advertisement just to give you an idea of um, some things you could be do of some things that you could be doing um, in PowerPoint so um, practice practice these concepts and um, I hope um, this lesson was useful but before I, I finish I need to show you a few more things so just hold on wait a minute because we're not finished yet right now so that is um the animation but now I want to just tell you about some um, animated images now you can get animated images from from from, from many many sites online uh, most of them are free because they've been around for for a very long time so I've built another slide here I'll just, just show you very quickly now this now this website um, www.pickgifts.com it's it's a website that gives you access to free animate, animated images and if you need if you're looking for background music for your for your um, slides um, I found a site it's called brainybetty.com so when you have time you can look through those things um, those those two websites I'm going to go back to our presentation because it needs one thing it needs audio so now I'm going to insert my audio so I do that by pressing insert audio and I've also I've, I've already saved an audio on my file so I'm going to audio it's called high tech so I'm going to press on my audio now and insert it in my on my page then I'm going to choose playback to make sure I'm hiding my image during the site during during the slideshow <laughs> and um, I want my sound to start automatically right, 
So now, if we play, let's see what happens. I'm pressing F5. Yep. And my sound is playing, okay? And I think my, I think my advertisement is finished. Right, so that gives you a brief, a brief demonstration of some things you can do with um, with PowerPoint. Um, I just want to show you one more thing. Um, just want to do. I'm going to press F5 here just to show you um, what happens um, if you use an animated image. So I'm pressing F5 now. So as you can see, my images are are dancing, dancing on the, on the screen. All right. So this is how you would use an animated image. Again, there are many online, but a, web, but a website that I found um, very useful is www.pickgifts.com. That website is very useful. So when you have time. Please have a look, okay? So thank you very much for your time and I hope this lesson was useful. My name is Edward Vaughan from the CAD Center. Thank you and have a good day.